Hello, how are you? I feel the need, the need for speed. Talk to me, Goose. You know, after one of my previous videos, a number of people, and by a number, I mean, one is a number, but uh, a number of people ask how they could get uh, afterburners on their Focus ST. So that's what this video is about, installing afterburners on your Focus ST. Taking those horrible, ugly taillights in the Focus ST, which to me are giant blobs of melted candy on a road. That's what it looks like to me. And making them a little better because it's just so much red. Especially if you have a yellow car like mine or maybe if you have black. It's not so bad on the race red. But uh, pretty much any other color. They're just so big and so huge. I needed to tone them down a little bit because uh, it's just so much red. So I toned it down a little bit, and it takes them from looking like this to looking like this. So here's a list of the tools and equipment you're going to need. First, of course, you're going to need some afterburners. So where do you go about getting afterburners for your car? AutoZone, of course. Just go to that accessories aisle, and for $3.99, you can have some nice afterburners. So afterburners only $3.99 plus tax, not millions of dollars as you would suspect. Next, you're going to need some kind of cutting tool, whether it's a razor blade or whether it's an exacto knife, whatever you prefer to cut with. Always be careful with sharp tools. Chucky wasn't so careful. Now he can only count to nine. Next, you're going to want to get one of those decal applicators, and like most things, stiffer is generally better. Make sure your taillights are clean, dry, and free of wax, and if you're waxing your taillights, what are you doing? It's just making water beat up so the light won't shine through. Use rubbing alcohol to remove any wax. Which I, I think is a little nicer. Some people like to uh, tint their taillights, which is a nice idea. I didn't want to do that because I didn't want somebody rear-ending me in the fog or something because the taillights were tinted and they couldn't see me. Um, so I didn't do that. Some people sp spend a lot of money replacing their taillights because they don't look that good. Um, but that's hundreds of dollars that you could be putting in horsepower, limited slip differentials, and other stuff to make the car faster. So here we go. 
So here you see my tail light. You'll notice from the back it looks exactly the same. The difference is on the side because I just striped it on the side and that's what gives you the afterburner effect. You can get a good close up here. You can see I left the uh, reflector open so that wasn't blocked so somebody could still see the reflector. I didn't cover that at all. Um, I didn't cover up any of the back part that lights up at all either. It's just the side part. And I didn't even cover the entire thing. There's like a black line that goes around the tail light. And you'll see that I took the, the stripes right up to that black line. So it looks like it was designed to be the way it is. Fits in real nice like that. So that gives you an idea of what this looks like when it's done. Here's a still photo of the afterburner effect. Nice side view. It shows you kind of shooting out the back. It's really nice. And here's a view of it kind of with the lights on to show I didn't strike the lit up part, but the other part I did. The best thing about these stripes is you can do whatever you want. You don't have to do what I do. You can extend the stripes out further, going all the way through the reverse lights if you want. Picture there at the bottom. At the top, I follow the curve of the taillights themselves. You can also do that. You can also do a graph pattern where you have vertical lines and horizontal lines together. Um, just Find a design you like and go with it and see what happens. The stripes are very good. You can peel them off and put them back on. Now for the actual application of the stripe. Um, first, of course, you have to open the package. And here's me showing you how to do it like you're an idiot. Anybody can open the package. Now, you want to just open this up. And it's in two parts. It's a stripe and then the backing. You just want to separate the backing off of the stripe. And when you put this on, you're going to want to take it outside of where you want to put it you're going to trim it down later so here i went all the way to the yellow paint i just went on the tail light but i took it to the yellow paint and i go beyond where i want it to go so i go clear around the tail light all the way to the other side to the yellow tape as well and when you pull that you pull it but not so much that you destroy the width of it because you it'll change the width of it if you pull on it too tightly you just want to do it lightly just make it straight as you can um, you, you just do it in one big piece. Now here, to get the spacing between them, I put a second stripe on. And I just move that along and I put it at the same, right next to the other stripe. And so that's what I'm doing here. Just lining it up and putting a second stripe on. If you want, you can do a different color. It makes it easier to see which stripe you're going to take off. And then you just pull that, that stripe off when you're done in between those stripes. And you'll see that it leaves a nice space in between there once you pull off the others. And you just keep doing that the whole way. Um, one stripe and then the other stripe until you're totally done. I just sped that up so we don't have to sit here and watch me stripe that. But that's what it looks like when you're all done. Um, you just put one stripe, put another stripe, you just keep putting them next to them, and then you just remove the stripe in between them, every other one you pull off. Now, the next step, step five, is to smooth out the stripe, and this is where it actually starts to stick, so you're going to want to pull that. Right here, you're going to see that um, there's a little bump and a line in it and an air bubble, and you just want to gently go over those. And the air bubble, you're going to want to push out from the stripe like that. And that makes it disappear. You see, it, you just saw how it disappeared. Now, on the end, you just use a razor blade. On the very end of the of the light, you're, you'll just trim it off at the very end. And it's really easy to do that on the tail light because there's just a giant space there. And it's real easy to do it. Now, when I did it, I did it to that black line right there. So when I do the black line, you cut it off earlier. And to cut it off earlier, you just use a razor blade or X-Acto knife. And you'll see right here, I take that knife and I push, put it down on the stripe until I feel it give way. If you go any harder, you'll end up putting a mark in your tail light. But you just do it until you can just feel the stripe begin to uh, separate. And once that's done, you can just pull the stripe off the rest of the way. That way you never get the razor blade into the tail light at all. 
and then you can see once you do this it, it really makes it nice give you a nice straight line across there here I'm doing it right at that edge of the tail light to make it look nice and that uh, is really nice when you have a nice area on your tail light to go up against um, that you can use to line up that cutting um, and the final step is enjoy your afterburners. I think they look really nice and now mine are longer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for putting up with that junk at the beginning. Um, if there's any questions you have about this, just leave them in the comments. I read pretty much everything that's posted there and um, I can get back to you, answer any questions you might have, if you even do have any questions. But like or dislike the video as you see fit um, leave any comments uh, subscribe if you'd like to see other videos i have other videos to put up i've just got to find the time to edit them being a deacon it was very busy because of lent and easter so i didn't really post anything in a while but i have a bunch of other videos in the hopper i'm not sure when i get them put up there because i'm going to utah but anyway um, thanks for watching and God bless. Good boy.